The first video of our Florida to New Hampshire trip covered our drive to South Jersey. This video will take us to a Harvest Host site in Connecticut. Then the next day we make it to our northernmost destination, Rogers Campground, in Lancaster, New Hampshire, driving about 250 miles each day. Just so you know, New Jersey is not all big city. There's hills, we're up in North Jersey, we're about 25 miles before we hit New York State. Did we already say the best advice for driving in the Northeast? Number one, don't do it. Number two, avoid it. Number three, don't go in New Jersey. Oh, painful. Just trucks just stopped because... Well, that's because there's no rest stops. There's no place for people to stop and pull over and take a break and get back on. We found one truck only rest stop that we pulled in and had lunch. New York State Line, welcome to New York. Welcome to New York. Uh, at least you're out of New Jersey. When, but now you're in suffering. You thought you were suffering in New Jersey. We're getting to the bridge. We just found out it's easy pass only. Or we'll be getting a bill in the mail for probably $280. Does it open up? So we're pretty high. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Boy. Woo, woo, you better laugh, yell, scream, get all that anxiety out. I don't know why all those people want to go into New York. Oh my god. We got in New York in the town called Suffering, and we never left Suffering <laughs> the whole time we were in New York. And we only have seen one other, other RV. On this road. Yes, Ron, so Rhonda's wondering the where the other RVs are. But uh, we were really only in New York State for half hour, 45 minutes, but oh man. Well, I have to say it's an absolutely gorgeous night at um, Rose's Berry Farms. It's a Harvest Host site. This is the first really nice night that we've had with no rain. While the states in New England are mostly small and urban, there are many beautiful rural areas, even in New Jersey, whose motto is the Garden State. Rosesbury Farm in Connecticut is one of those areas of rolling hills, beautiful farms with rich soil. We spent a wonderful evening on this nice blueberry farm all alone from about 6 p.m. till when we left in the morning. Being able to camp without electric hookups is still new to us and we enjoy it very much. Just before flying my drone, we were talking with one of the property owners. He worked for a commercial drone company that does video production. They done work in places like New York City and Boston. That would be some fun flying. The driving in New Jersey and New York was pretty intense with traffic, construction, and trying to avoid what tolls we could while staying on major roads that allowed RVs. The next day was much better as we didn't really hit any big urban centers. The White Mountains cover about a quarter of the whole state of New Hampshire, with the highest peak in the northeast, Mount Washington, at 6,288 feet. There are over 50 peaks above 4,000 feet, and the Appalachian Trail goes through the area for some serious hiking. We enjoyed seeing the watch out for moose signs on many of the roads, but we didn't see any moose. There's a beautiful view of the mountains from Rogers Campground, as you can see from the drone footage. This campground is the home for the annual gathering of libertarian-leaning people called Porkfest, which is sponsored by the Free State Project. We attended last year and had a really good time. This year, we beat the crowds and just stayed for the five nights before the festival with the pre-party people of Forkfest. Awesome geodesic dome they're putting together. Note to self, if you're ever putting up a dome, you need to have lots of ladders. Uh, and it's designed for scaling, so they have uh, the ability to, anybody... 
This event is totally self-organized. There were many families with kids just having fun while other groups were having all-night parties. This dome is a great example of a couple bringing the dome kit and other people like me just helping out to get it put together using the tools available. It was used for a few nights of high-energy dance parties that I didn't go to, while another group focused on man camp, teaching people how to blacksmith and use tools. Okay, we're going hiking. Took us a couple tries to find this place, but... Well, here we are on this trail, <laughs> and the little bugs are all over the place. I forgot the bug spray. Um, I have no idea where Mount somewhere. Can't <sighs> pronounce it. Not even going to try today. Yeah, and I'm huffing and puffing already, and we've only hiked about 500 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, But it's all uphill. All uphill. The review said a nice gentle slope. Oh, they didn't say nothing about all the mosquitoes, but should have known better. We had the bug spray sitting right by the door. It's a nice leisurely stroll up the hill. Up the hill. Well, it's been uphill and muddy the whole way yep. with mosquitoes. With mosquitoes. Well, Rhonda, what are you doing? I'm swatting bugs. <laughs> it's been a long hike. We're tired. We just been going up, 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 up. Uh huh. This has been going two hours. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, at least two hours. Hi, everybody. Okay, we made it up about 7,500 steps on this hike. It has not been easy. It's been difficult. So we just had our lunch, and now we're gonna head back down. We're at the spring. There's a little sign here that says spring, and there's. A little spring coming out of the rocks. It's hard swatting bugs while you're watching for rocks. Yeah. Tell you that. And the bugs are biting. It's not like they're just flying around your face. They're biting. We're still hiking. Oh, it's a beautiful, wonderful trail. Except for the bugs, the mud, the rocks, and the steepness. Well, here's what it looks like Sunday morning really filled in a lot since we got here and I'm sure in a couple days it'll be much fuller pork fest starting up today Campground has loaded up since we got here. Site 101 is not too bad, narrow. Well, we're leaving Rogers Campground. The day Pork Fest is supposed to start, but that's not what we went for. It's really pretty up here. We had our cool weather. You agree, yes, Dr. Agree. Baraka? Yes, I nice agree. And cool. <laughs> yeah, I had to use the heat a couple times in the morning. And including this morning. Mm -hmm. I'm going downhill, that's for sure. We had a fun time in the cool mountains, but had to leave. The next video of this trip will take us back home to summertime in North Florida. On the way out of New Hampshire, we stopped off and met Chuck and Cheryl from the Get Gone With Us YouTube channel. They were really nice to see us just about two weeks before coming full-time RVers.